at Hanging Baskets, um, we have uh, the first of four plantings. Um, the first ones that we're talking about right now are the ones that you'll actually see for sale when we open in three weeks. Um, there's Right now, there's three reasons why we're trimming these baskets. This will be the second time that we've trimmed baskets. They're trimmed the first time at the time of planting, and that's just to get the plant to, to uh, bush out and fill out the basket for us. And the second time we're going through, we're getting ready to hang up um, over in the store. And we've got three reasons why these aren't real good right now. So we've got rosebud and patients, and they're growing more straight up than what we, we would want. So if we start taking and just trimming the very tops of these plants off, it looks scary, but you're actually doing the plant a real good favor. And so what you're going to do is we're going to see when you open, we're going to see a much rounder plant and we're going to have um, to fill out more of the soil and cover the basket. Where this is going to keep growing straight up, now we're going to be able to fill out the sides. The second reason why we would be trimming is this is a lantana. And we have three plants in here, but I don't know if you can see real close, one plant is about probably three inches shorter than the other two. If you were to purchase this in the store, if we would keep letting it grow, it's going to grow lopsided for you. So what we're going to do again is we're just going to take our scissors and we're going to cut some of this foliage so that all three plants are very similar and they'll grow more uniform. Okay, you can't even hardly tell that we cut it. The third thing, um, these are petunias. And petunias trail, but not all of the stems are trailing at the same speed. So we're going to go through, we want again a uniform plant. We're going to cut off the edges first to make them all uniform. And then we're going to go through and we're going to just pinch off these tops. And what does pinching off these tops do? It's going to make the plant again bush out more at the soil level to create a bigger, rounder, fuller basket. Don't be afraid. We're doing this now, but this is something that you also want to do um, at home. Now, you can see that we don't have any blooms on here. So are you going to want to take and cut everything off just like we did here at home? Probably not, um, because if you did that, you'd be cutting all of your flowers off, right? Um, so if you just take, we'll switch baskets. If you just want to take a third, so let's just snip this part and let's snip this part and let's snip these. Okay, you're maintaining the basket, creating more growth but you're going to keep your flowers. So maybe in one, one seven days, 10 days, um, you're going to go and you're going to cut the other uh, one third off. So you can keep rotating that every time that you, that you trim. So we want to make sure that we're maintaining our plants. Um, if they grow leggy, cut them off. You cut your hair um, when it gets long, you want to take care of your plants. Don't be afraid to do that. Um, lastly, we have geraniums here. And a lot of times um, we see customers just taking this bloom and, and this is deadheading, okay? But what we actually want to do is we want to get in here and we're going to see this bud, but we also want to take it all the way back to the stem so that we're cutting the flower and the stem off. So you want a deadhead to promote more growth and more budding to come.